we got a banger video for you guys. Super late, taking on Kekaru. Ooh, look at that, bop. And now here comes this beautiful leg kick. Whack. This leg kick still hurts. <laughs> Super late him up. <laughs> Boom, one, one, two, leg kick. One, two, leg kick. <laughs> look at his leg. <laughs> that leg is gone. Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> look, look at Super Lake. That's all you got? Super Lake is legit, dude. Before we do this breakdown of Super Lake versus Takuro, they have one championship has another banger fight coming up. You got one fight night 19, Haggerty taking on Lobo, the two sport champion, John Haggerty, the general, defending his belt against Lobo. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have not seen John Haggerty fight before, this guy's absolutely amazing. Great kicks, great elbows. Once again, this is One Fight Night 19 on Amazon Prime. You guys can get this because I know everybody's got Prime Video. Don't miss it. Check it out, boys. Let's get to Super League versus Takura. Yeah, well, damn. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. We got a banger video for you guys. Uh, this is Super League taking on Takeru. Uh, this is the one flyweight kickboxing world championship one one championship 165 It's the full fight if you guys are new to the channel make sure you like subscribe also hit the bell to know when we go live now ladies and gentlemen I have broken down kickboxing Muay Thai fights before I'll always say this and I always mean this mixed martial arts is the pinnacle of you know it, it, it's the cream of the crop only the apex athletes do mixed martial arts the reason why is because you have to know how to do everything and typically when you fight somebody in kickboxing Muay Thai, if they're longer than you, you are, you're at a disadvantage, right? You're at a disadvantage because you have to get past that reach. You can't grapple, you can't wrestle, you, you can't take it to a different realm. You are stuck in that realm for however long it is until the fight's over with. Only thing you can do when you got someone who's under you is feints, angles, move out, Try to make them guess. Make them guess. Up, 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 up. You gotta make them guess to go to the angle and hit them, right? Let's uh, break it down. I got that pick ready to go. I'm gonna turn down the voice. I don't wanna hear Mitch Chilson talk. Okay, so let's stop right here. The fight is gonna take place in the void, at the edge of the void, which all kickboxing and Muay Thai fights typically do. Even boxing matches take place here. And even and even mixed martial arts. But since these guys, they can't grapple. They can't do any jujitsu. It's just gonna take place here. Now it's gonna come down to him, you know, T-pin, which uh, <clears throat> Super League is very good at. The leg kick, he's a kicking machine. Obviously he cannot clinch or uses, uses his elbows. He's gonna have the jab, the same thing with Zakura. So it's all gonna take place here. Now, the biggest thing I saw before I started this video is uh, Zakura uh, just kept coming to the edge of the void when Super League is longer. I would like to see more feints from Takura, but let, let's watch. Let, let, let's play out and, and I'll show you guys what I mean, okay? Here we go. All right, here we go. So, he's winning the edge of the void. Granted, he's longer. When I mean who's longer, <clears throat> Super Lake is longer. So, he can hit uh, Takura from the edge of the void and not get hit with his kicks because kicks are his longest weapons. So, he's sitting there waiting for something from Takura. He's waiting, right? He's waiting for him to cross the distance so he can hit him. Sitting there waiting. Sitting there waiting. See, right here, if I was Sakura, I would have liked to, if I'm the shorter fighter, I would have tried to just paw a little bit with my jab across. Maybe paw to the, there, paw here. Elevation change. Uh, in and out, a lot more feints. Maybe inside. Use more footwork to to disrupt this, this pattern right here because as they're standing at this edge of the void, Super League is just downloading all this information, his rhythm, the distance, all that stuff. Where he's sitting here, the more opportunity Super League gets to uh, download. Don't get me wrong, Takura can download information too, but he's longer. <clears throat> he's a longer athlete, so he's got to cross a lot more distance, Takura, in order to get to him, to get him in a place where he can actually land a strong shot. So that's the one thing I noticed right off the bat is that he, he's he's waiting there. He's waiting for him to come across the distance where he doesn't have to come across this and he's longer and beautiful fate trying to get there. Exchange kicks. <clears throat> right. Just waiting. See, and this is this is what Takura should be doing to Super Lake is 
show, 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 throw a kick. Because I know when I show something, my opponent is gonna retreat. You show, show, don't overextend, show, show, throw a leg kick, leg kick lands. He's gonna come back to the edge of the void again. And it's a repeat, it's a rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat the whole entire time in a kickboxing or Muay Thai. Mm. Kicked him in the penis. Right, so super just sits there, and this is what I mean by <clears throat> in kickboxing and Muay Thai is that the longer super lake, I mean the guy has probably like ten thousand fights, so this is nothing. But right there, boom, he's trying to cross that distance with that double jab, leg kick lands. Even if he checks, that still hurts. But see, super lake, even though he's longer than Takura, he's doing way more fainting and pawing because he can do it because he's longer. In order for Takura to hit him. He has to, he, he has to overextend or <clears throat> he has to go through all this and lay kick lands. Right now, now he's got him. Now he's got Takura guessing. Right, let's go back real quick and break that down. He's got him guessing because Takura is watching him. Takura is not fighting him. What do I mean by that? When you start watching somebody, you, you're you like, okay, what is he going to do? What is he going to do? What is he going to do? F that noise. I'm like, it's go time. Pop, 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 pop. Just, just, just go. And then look for the opportunities to get them in that fight. And this is what he does right here. Super Lake has trained Takura, and it's only been a minute and a half of the fight. So watch this breakdown right here. So one of the beautiful things about a ring compared to a cage, there's four corners. So you can actually track your opponent down. So now... Takura can't go this way. He's not going to go this way. And Takura doesn't use a lot of lateral. He doesn't use lateral movement like a boxer, right? He's he's traditional. I don't. I want to say kickboxing or whatever you want to call it. He's going to back straight up. And since he's watching, you know, his eyes are watching Super Lake. He's watching him, and he's going to back straight up. And once Super Lake knows he's watching him, he's going to throw a combination. He sh shows its cross. Shows a jab, left hook, shows the body kick. Still, Takura is guessing right now. Then showed that leg kick. He shows the leg kick. Takura is on one foot. One foot. Throws the right hand. Lands. Now he's back in his stance. Now he's on the other side of the thing. And now here comes his beautiful leg kick. Whack. This leg kick still hurts. <laughs> it still hurts. So Takura is guessing the whole entire time. Change leg kicks. One 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 ten. Push kick. I mean the the, the tools that Super Leg is using just to keep him. And see what I mean? Each time, each time, Takura comes to the edge of the void. He waits there. He waits there instead of going to the circling this way or circling this way. He comes to the edge of the void. Super Leg says, "Okay, thanks." Here's jab, jab, jab. He backs out, and here comes the leg kick. Bop, bop. That's pretty much what happened the whole 15 minutes. I guarantee it. And the head movement from like, <laughs> I mean, and the dynamic of Super Lake is just like, and right there, I'm gonna, okay. Let me see if I can pause it right there. Beautiful one, two. He should have stayed on him. One, one, ten lands again. What? Oh, oh, you see all that fakes? Those fakes are coming off of it. Then look, another one, three, ten. The faints. Look at, look at. <laughs> Super Lake. <laughs> one, one, two again. <clears throat> All right, round two. Logan, he gets right on him. Right on him. He's got him guessing. Push kick for Super Takura. We.
Is he? Okay. I'm going to see if I can get it. Look at that. Always got him guessing. Guessing. And see, this is what I mean. The fight takes place in the void because Takur comes right at the edge of the void and... Yeah. So, okay. I'm gonna get it. Yeah. <clears throat> now, oh, look at the limpin. The limpin's already paying dividends. And then here comes the knees. This <laughs> is really f him up. <laughs> you see what I mean? He's waiting there. He's just waiting. He's sitting there. And this is what I mean by kickboxing and, and Muay Thai. If this was MMA, double leg takedown easily. The ring, he, he the, the, the ring's going to help me get that double leg takedown or a wrestler double leg takedown. This is why I say MMA is pinnacle because if you're fighting someone who's taller, longer, you can't get to him. You can't, you know, he's a better kickboxer than you. You can get there. So right now, it's clearly to see that Superleg is a better kickboxer. There's nothing Takura can do to stop him from doing whatever. Superleg can do whatever he wants to Takura right now. Whatever he wants. And now Takura has to go through this for another one, uh, one, two, three, four, four more rounds of this. There's none he can do. He can land a good shot, but the chances of the favor, the, the chances of him landing that is significantly low. So as the fight's going on, the opportunity for him to win the fight is just leaving. <clears throat> In my eyes. I oh, love you. Okay. Whew, that knee almost landed. So right here, boom. Now, Takura has him. Where the distance is favors him more, right? But the beautiful thing that Super Lake does, he realizes this. He starts circling out there. He starts circling away from him to re-engage that void distance that he wants. Right? Misses that. Runs right into that knee. And see, Takura is still watching him. Still watching him. Right hand from Takura. See, and he's he's allowing he's allowing Super Lake to uh get regain that distance. Ooh, that leg kick. Push kick. Push kick. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Look at his leg. <laughs> that leg is gone. E even now, if Takura wanted to change his stance. Yeah, that leg is... Even if Takura wanted to um, start using more mobility to get around, like stay, instead of staying in front of him, there's nothing he can do. That leg's already compromised. It's already gone. <clears throat> and now he's trying to hit him. He still can't get to uh, Super Lake. Hmm. <clears throat> Boy. And the thing too is Super Lake can use his knees as well. Watch this right here. Watch this. Watch this distance manager right here. Watch this. Miss, 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 miss. Because he's he's taller and he understands the range a lot better. So he doesn't really have to do anything. He just do this the whole time. All right, round three. Boom. He goes right back. And in kickboxing, it's upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. And Super Lake displays this amazingly everything he's doing a lot of people think oh man it's so easy to do that it's not the reason why super Lake can do this is because one he understands distance so well he understands his range and takura's range he knows i can't get hit right here i can't takura always has to get closer just so he can hit him right when he starts getting close in that edge of that void coming into that bubble super lake alarm goes up it goes okay i just want to start hitting him with the jab and then he's not going to stay there. If he stays there, I'm going to punish him with a leg kick for staying there. If he runs, I'll show show leg kick. Look, he can't. He couldn't even hit him there. Look at the movement from uh, Super Lake. Look, showing showing something. He runs. Leg kick lands. Showing. See. 
Look at that beautiful, beautiful distance control and beautiful showing. Like, like I think if Super Lake would have fought Rotten like this, I think I would have gave the fight to Super Lake. But Rotten does a good job of just smothering people, smothering people and cutting them with the elbows. Right, and look, look, Takur's trying to reach him. You, he, he, he's never going to be able to reach him because he's the shorter fighter. Look at that. He's making Takur a guess. <clears throat> look at that footwork. Look at that. Look, show him that Muhammad Ali. And it's, and it's, a, that's a hard thing about kickboxing is that it's a flush. You can see Takur getting frustrated because he can't get to him. Um, Super League won't allow him to. Right, at the edge of the void waiting. Lay kick. Bam. Look. Come towards lay kick. Look, look at that. Lay kick. Every every single time. Look and see Takur <laughs> Takur. And every single time when Takur finally gets to him, he can lock him down. Smart, intelligent fighter by Super Lake. Look. 110. <clears throat> look. He's trying to get to him. Misses. Pushes him off. Doesn't worry about that body kick. Look, and look. Each time he gets to him. we So that body kick must have hurt him. Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> look at, look at Super Lake. That's all you got? So yeah, that body kick hurt him. Look. Ooh, a beautiful head kick from uh, Super Lake. We. Yeah, that body kick hurt him. Ooh, beautiful body kick again. Body kick again. He said, give me more. <laughs> he pushes him back. <laughs> oh, man. Boy, right back on it. Look. Wham. Yeah, he's still, he's still trying to recover from that body shot. Body shot. Like I said, this is the hard thing about kickboxing is that he has to stay there. He can survive. And look. Boy. Boy. Misses. Boy. You can tell already. Instinctual. Instinctual. Super leg is ready to throw an elbow right here. Because this spot is open. Even though he's got that arm down, I can't see it. I'm sure Super Lake's arm is over. And he's going to throw an elbow. You can see it in his eye. He goes, oh, you look. I can't throw an elbow. I can feel it. And I didn't even there. Boy. Pushes him. And I think Super Lake's probably the bigger athlete, too. He looks bigger. All right, round four. <clears throat> All right. And Super Lake right now, he's just trying to keep him. Look, look how much closer the void is. Sakura is super. He's closer. And you're going to you, see. You've seen Super Lake using a lot more teeps to get him off. To get him off because this is where Takura shines when he gets super close. We nice fate. Nice faint. Push kick. Inside. Boom. One, one, two. Lay kick. One, two. Lay kick. <laughs> Look. Yep. See, now he. Now. And see, this is where. This is where I think Rotting. Um, uh, look, look at that. He stops him from moving. And he, and he, and Super League does a better job fighting back. Look at that. Look at that. Bop. Checks. Misses that. Like, that's where I think Rotting does better than Dakura. Is that once he gets, once he's in range. And... So this is what this is what Rod Tang does better than Takura from from me watching this fight. This is the second time we've seen Takura fight. Body kick goes. Leg kick, beautiful. Okay, come on, get there. Okay, and he's asking, "Give me more, give me more. I want more concussions, please." Leg kick again. <laughs> Super leg is legit, dude. Okay, so this is where Rotang thrives more than Jakura does. 
and I think Takura Toru's bicep tendon in this fight too. So when Rotten gets in and it's kickboxing. So here we go. What? Throw, throw a push kick, please. Push kick, super leg, leg kick. Okay, typically Rotten catches this. When he fought John Haggerty, he catches this. He pulls his opponent. Rotten catches the kick. He pulls the opponent this way. And when he pulls the opponent this way, he unloads on a 2-3 up top and 3 to the body. Go back and watch uh, Rotten versus Haggerty. He does this all the time. He lets people push kick him. He grabs it, pulls him towards him, and lights him up with a combination. That's how he finished Haggerty, I believe, it was the third, the second time they fought. Where the curve doesn't shashe and bop, 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 and go. And granted, I mean, I'm probably not fast enough to do it either, but that's what I would try to do. Push kick again. Comes up. Push and spin back. Fist. But Super Lake destroyed the like The biggest thing that helped Super Lake um, is keeping right out the first round. Um, the one thing I, I, I'm starting to really appreciate about uh, Super Lake style is that he does not wait. Like, he does not wait. Right when the bell rings, he starts establishing rules. What do I mean by the rules? He is saying, okay, I'm no longer a fighter. Right here at the edge of the void. At the very beginning, he's going, okay, I'm showing this. I'm picking I'm picking this up to show that I'm a teep. Teep, teep, teep. Okay. Then he also has the jab. Then he also shows, he goes, I show, show, you back up. When you back up, the, leg, the, the thing you leave behind is your leg. He kicks the leg. And each time, and then after he does that, Takuru comes back to the edge of the void. He, re, he does the same game plan. Show, 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 kick this leg up, leg kick. Over and over and over the whole entire time. And now it's paid dividends. Takura cannot walk. He can barely Barely get to the edge, of the, back to the void, in a lay kick every single time. Yeah, round five. Same thing. Watch, one, two, boom, lands. Jab, jab, show, show. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. Look, buoy. Imagine if this was Muay Thai. Imagine if this was Muay Thai. Buoy, another knee. The kick. He can pick like. Super is able to pick a shot and that jab, that jab that he's hitting him with, he can't even, he can't even get to him to get the jab. Booy! Like I said, this was Muay Thai. I think the fight would have been over in the second or third round because he would have landed that knee. Look where his hands are at. His hands are right here. He would have grabbed the head, clinch, elbow. Easily. Like, like I said, the Muay Thai guys, the kickboxers are lucky they can't do Muay Thai. My opinion. Beautiful knee. Look, 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 look at that knee. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful right, beautiful right hand. He gets out of the way of the right hand and then he throws a leg kick. Look, up, oh, knee. And his choice is another knee. That beautiful left, left hand and right hand from Takura. It shut down, but look at Super League. He's going right there. Measuring. Beautiful one, two from Takura. Beautiful right hand from Takura. Smothers the distance. No, uh, boy, knee. Leg kick. Measuring. He's measuring. Block both those. We. Right hand, ooh, knee. And Muay Thai kickboxing is a sprint, man. Ooh, knee, knee. Look, he's me measuring. Leg kick. Knees, yeah. But with Muay Thai, it'd be a different story. Right hand from Takura. Whee! <laughs> Leg kick. Oh, God. Ooh, he goes up high with it.
Shuts him down. Push kick. Remember, Super Leg likes to always establish that distance, that range control. He wanted to clinch him right there. And only time, and this is the thing, the only time that clinch comes in, uh, like he, he starts to go for the clinch is when he's starting to uh, slow down. And rightfully so. Rod, I mean, Super Leg is doing a lot. I mean, those leg kicks, those take a lot of energy. Yep, that push kick is... Yep. Yeah. I, I think the... Yeah, I don't know if that was a split. I would give it a unanimous, maybe 4-1. 4-1 for uh, the champion, Super Lake. Super Lake is just a different monster, man. Like, when you... Like I said before in the beginning of this video, when you are doing kickboxing and you are fighting somebody who's longer than you and understands distance, you have to use a lot more feints. You have to use angles and movement, and you have to force them to overextend. The reason why I'm talking like this is because I've done it my whole entire career. I still continue to do it even when I do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or even when I wrestle. Like, I try to make them overextend. That way, they're covering the distance for me, so I don't have to travel over further to get to them. But, boys, congratulations to Super Late. Congratulations to Takura. An absolute amazing kickboxing world title fight. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe. Also, hit the bell to know go live. Cheer. On Friday, February 16th, two-sport world champion Jonathan Haggerty returns to Prime Video to defend his Muay Thai world title. I've always said you're not a champion until you defend your world title. He faces dangerous Brazilian striker Felipe Lobo. I'm ready for this fight for the belt. This is my dream. The Bantamweight Muay Thai World Championship. One Fight Night 19, Haggerty versus Lobo on Prime Video.